have another 4 gadgets for you today, this time for the Nintendo Switch. The first one is a controller that replaces Joy-Cons because, well, Joy-Cons are not really the greatest controllers when it comes to ergonomics. This one is from a company called Zacro and it retails for about £25. The build quality is not premium, so don't expect rubber texture, but for the price I would say it's actually quite good. The hard plastic does feel very sturdy and its ergonomic design gives it a comfortable grip and it makes it easy to hold for longer gaming sessions. It also has large shoulder buttons which makes it suitable for bigger hands. It has dual vibration motors so no HD rumble but that's not a huge deal and it does have a gyroscope which allows for motion sensors. It is advertised to be plug and play, which is kinda true. The installation process is very straightforward, the console just slides in. Although be careful because I've seen a few reviews for people mentioning that it scratched the back of their switch. And there's a button on the back there for when you want to take the switch back out. So once it's plugged in you just have to find the controllers and sensors menu in the settings. And that's it, you're all good to go. Overall, for £25, I definitely would say it is a great replacement for the Joy-Cons and I will of course leave a link in the description if you want to pick one up for yourself. Now, if you prefer using Joy-Cons for features like HD Rumble, I mean, you can also obviously use an external controller like this one from 8 but what I would recommend is this shock absorption grip case from JTEC. It's made out of rugged TPU materials which feels sturdy but it's also very very comfortable and super easy to grip so it is a great protection for your switch and again it offers that comfortable grip for handheld gaming sessions. Out of all the cases I've used for my switch this is definitely one that I would recommend the most and you can pick this up for just about £8 at the moment. Next we have my favourite one, this is a handmade padded cover for the dock and apparently it's made from a licensed Nintendo fabric which I'm not quite sure what that means but it sounds quite cool. So the main reason you would want this on your dock is because of that, yes, which I'm quite sure most of you have experienced once or twice before. So the cover doesn't add any bulk to the dock, it is made out of high quality cotton. It features dual layer protection where the exterior is padded for light shock absorption and the interior is lined with a softer fabric to protect the screen from coming in contact with the dock and causing those scratches. And finally we have the most interesting gadget of the day. This is the IAVO VR headset for your Nintendo Switch. Yes, that is correct. You can use this headset to watch media or play games on your Switch in virtual reality. VR has actually been supported on the Switch for quite some time now. I believe it started with the release of Nintendo Labo, but since then the list of games that supports VR has been growing, so I thought it's time to give it a try. The headset itself does not have the highest build quality out there. They are claiming that it is made out of EVA and Oxford materials, which I think are just fancy words for styrofoam. But at least it's not cardboard. I haven't used it much yet to give you a full review. I only tried it with uh, Breath of the Wild and I would say for £27 it is a good experience. Let me know in the comments if you would like me to do a more in-depth review for the VR experience on the Nintendo Switch in general.
And that's it for this video. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Until next time.